Hi, what have you done for love today? Nothing. Well, that's cool. Have a good future. I'm just playing around. Okay, so this is going to be fun because I had a friend that I've been wanting to make this video for a while anyway. But I don't want to like call anybody out specifically or anything like that. But this is just kind of funny because uh, he sent me, uh, he, he messaged me today and told me that um, somebody that he watches just did like a Saturn and wedding ring video. And I asked him who it was and I wondered if it was the same person I had in mind because I'm subscribed to that person and I saw the video but I didn't watch it. But that's what made it kind of inspired me to make mine because I've been making so many Saturn videos anyway just for fun. Because I'm having a lot of fun with the editing software and making my little music videos. And so uh, I didn't watch his video. I just saw this the title of it, which was like Saturn and the Wedding Ring. So I don't know what he did, but I just figured it'd be a super easy breakdown, quick video, something easily everyone can easily understand. And so I made that video. But whenever he told me, and so he's like, let me go dig it up. And while I'm waiting, I'm like, I wonder if it's this guy. So again, I'm not like, I don't want to name anybody's names. All right. So this is funny that that it's him. Okay. So I want to show you this. This is how you know. I'm not judging anybody. Either they're confused or they're paid to lead uh, disinformation or whatever. This guy in particular that you and I both that you share today, he's not right. He's not right at all, but I pay attention and watch because I'll listen to anybody. Like, I don't care who it is. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not, I have the armor of God on, so I'm not afraid of a demon channel or a book or a symbol. Because uh, I have the armor of God on, and I believe in that, so therefore I will be protected, and I'm not, like, why am I supposed to be afraid of some YouTube channel and stuff like that? You know, and I'm not saying you're saying this, I'm just telling to the people out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. And so one of the things that this guy does, and this is great, you'll see, I challenge you to find a video where he doesn't. Okay, so the gauntlet's been thrown, just so you know, like, I'm just, or just so you could... You can see my point here. I challenge you to find a video where he doesn't. They all, I was gonna name the video, how to spot a snake. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't know, who knows. They wear their, they wear something on their head constantly. Every video. And that blocks the connection. Okay, that blocks the connection. So this is from, if you've never seen this movie, Save the Green Planet, one of the greatest foreign Korean uh, science fiction horror movies ever made. I love it. Came back, it came out like 20 some years ago, or about 20 years ago, 2003. And so there's a guy who hunts basically, it's like they live. You know, the planet is, it's, it's they live, but it's a Korean version of it. So there's a guy who goes around as Roddy Piper basically, but he kidnaps these things and basically gets them to admit they're aliens pretending to be humans. So he kidnaps like the head alien or whatever, the big the big higher up alien, and he shaves his head and does all that shit. And this alien gets away from the Roddy Piper Kai, the hero, and he gets taken back up to the ship and he's very mad at his, you know, subjects, his fellow aliens cuz he's like, "Hey, why didn't you come down here and save me?" And the guys were like, well, remember, you said you were going to basically throw up a flare. You were going to say if there were trouble to come down and save, save you, you were going to tell us if there was trouble. And he turns him. that's when he says, how can I contact you when my hair is gone? Because his head was shaved because that kills the connection. Because how this stuff is all supposed to work is you're supposed to, now you really connect with mom and it does not take very long, like 20 minutes, they say. You go out barefoot, you put your feet on the ground because that's your souls, that's your feet, that's the soles of your feet, that's where the energy comes, and it comes up and it, and it dances around your spinal cord, up through your chakras, and out through the top of your head. And so your hair is an extension of this receiver. You have crystal in your pineal gland, just like in any kind of TV, just like in any kind of computer, just like in any kind of radio. You have the same receptor in your head. And in fact, you have gold in your body, which is a new discovery. Not that old, not that old at all, like the last few decades. Why is that? Because we come from the stars. Some of us come directly from the sun. So you're going to be made up of where you came from. But anyway, that's a whole other video. So it comes up, right, and dances and blah, 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 the spinal cord and out through the top of your head. So that's what they chop. That's why if you watch one of my favorite stupid <laughs> like love dating shows, uh, shows is that one that Ashton Kutcher produced called Beauty and the Geek. And if you watch that, and, and if you watch any makeover show, you'll, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
what they love to do is they chop the hair, especially the facial hair and the long hair. That's the first stuff that goes in a makeover. And so if you are constantly covering your head, you are blocking the connection. And so, you know, that doesn't mean that you have to let your hair grow out to be, you know, forever crazy and look shaggy and look like a caveman. No, what that means is, is you don't shave your head down or cut your hair because you're trying to look it for attention. You're trying to be cool. You're trying to do it for fashion. You don't do that. That's just what that means. But if you're trying to do spiritual things, you should never constantly have your head covered. And these guys, so again... I challenge you to find a video where he doesn't. And there's another guy I really wanted to call out because he's a, re I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to say his name. He does, he has done really great work with the currency. He has his own ministry. Again, I challenge you to find a video where he doesn't have something on his head. You're blocking the connection. There's no flow. Whenever you have your hat on or a hood on or any of that, that doesn't mean you always have to have your hair or your head uncovered. But what I'm saying is, if you're doing spiritual things and you've got, let's say, 10 videos, you shouldn't be covered 10 out of 10. You should be covered at half at best. You know what I mean? So that's funny. I wonder about the guy, you gotta, he does, he, you know, there is, are some, he does some really great videos every now and then. I do agree with some of the stuff he says, and he goes deeper than what a lot of people do. But he ain't right. I can tell you that right now, man. The guy ain't right. I'm not judging. I'm just saying he ain't right. Just like the, the currency guy, they ain't right. So that's how you know if they've got something on their head all the time, they're not letting the flow. They're not talking like they should. The connection's not, not, it's not as good. It's not solid. You're being confused. You're going to get misled. You're not going to get the answers. It's not going to come in clearly. You're going to be easily misguided, misguided or misled.